Hello, good evening, Magdaleno. Hello, teacher. How are you? My name is Chester. <laughs> Espérame, teacher, que aquí estaba con toda la familia, entonces me están haciendo bullying. Ok. <ríe> Ahora justo me voy para el cuarto a recibir la clase. Nice. Hello, Reina. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? How, how is it going? Better? ¿Cómo siguió? Ya mejor. Better. Better. Very Excellent. good. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Glad to hear that. Yes. So let's just wait for the others to join um, the video conference and then we we continue. Good right? Hi, good evening, Carla. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you, teacher? I'm doing very well. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Ready for another week. Well, this is our final week, actually. This, uh, like, on Friday we finish. So imagine how fast. Acabamos de empezar y vamos a terminar. Imagínense, solo cuatro clasecitas más. And we finish y finalizamos el módulo. Wow. Very, very fast. Yes. So... Okay, we're going to uh, begin because of the time, because of the punctuality that you have had with me. Uh, well, so it's time, right, to begin. So once again, welcome. Good evening, everyone. It's so nice to have you in here. It's so incredible to see you in this uh, video conference number 16. Wow, video conference number 16. So we have a lot to do today. But um, I'm very excited. I feel very happy because of the topic we have today. It is perhaps one of my most favorite topics to work with, and I'm very happy about it, right? I'm very enthusiastic, eager about this topic. How to use prepositions of place. A nice topic, incredible. Hoy vamos a trabajar con este tema, uh, las preposiciones de lugar. Prepositions of place. ¿Cómo decir verdad? Esas, esas um, aspectos de, de localidad. ¿Cómo eh, tenemos que mencionarlo, verdad? Otorgar el nombre que corresponde en el idioma inglés. So, today we practice this. ¿Cómo se dice enfrente de? Al lado de, a una cuadra de. Dos metros abajo de. So, todas esas expresiones, verdad? So, they are very useful. Of course they are. They are super necessary to know them. And today we get to practice them, right? So that's, that's how it goes. Y pues nada, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicarlo. So here we go. Today is Monday, July the 26th, uh, 26, 2021. Yes, that is our um, class for today, the schedule for today. Yeah. Video conference number 16. And this is the class objective for today. At the end of this session, you participants will be able to use prepositions of place in front of, next to, behind, all of them, right? That's what we had for today. And yeah, once again, to use prepositions of place. Before we start this very interesting topic, we are going to check some points related to what we did in a previous class. And as you remember, we practiced a little bit the topic of the articles, a, an, the. So for example, an, um, an orange, uh, let me see, a backpack, for example, or a computer, right? The group of students, the students, the class, the English class. So those articles, ¿se recuerdan de esos artículos que trabajamos la clase anterior? Específicamente el viernes. Do you remember them? Do you remember? Yes? No? Yes, I remember. Excellent, right? So that is what you're going to do. For this mini exercise that we have here, you just have to select the best answer for each and every single one of them. 
you have to select the best answer for each of them and then we check together for example there is or there are a and and then we have is on the table right ustedes seleccionan la respuesta que mejor consideren so you have like three options para empezar tienen dos opciones is or art y luego tienen tres opciones de artículo a an or zero article this hyphen in here represents zero este hyphen que tienen aquí este guioncito que aparece acá representa el zero article verdad que no necesita ningún artículo zero article so yes that's what we have in here and yeah it's time for us to practice it right entonces en este momento pasamos a practicarlo y ustedes seleccionan la respuesta que ustedes consideren es la más adecuada, la más correcta. Una vez más, para que van ingresando, there is or there are, ustedes seleccionan si es is or are, y luego seleccionan una de las tres, si es a, an, or zero article, ¿verdad? El hyphen, el um, guioncito que aparece aquí, el guion, representa un zero article, que no lleva ningún artículo. Ok, participants. Is it clear? Estamos claros, estamos en sintonía con lo que vamos a realizar para esta actividad. Is it clear? Yes, yes teacher, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Perfect. If you have yeah. questions, uh -huh. if you have questions, let me know, right? En caso de duda, coméntenme, díganme, please. Please, please, please. Any questions, any doubts, any comments or opinions, let me know. Here I am to help you, right? Cualquier duda, cualquier interrogante, algo que les genere incertidumbre sobre el ejercicio, comenten. Aquí estamos para apoyarlos. So, please. Please, please, please. Once you finish, I'm gonna show you the answer. So we are missing two more minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we check together. I'm still analyzing my answers. So we will see the ones you have. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Welcome. Bienvenida, Claudia. Buenas noches. En este momento estamos realizando este pequeño ejercicio con base en lo que estudiamos el viernes. So, usted tiene, yeah. que, tiene que seleccionar una de las dos opciones, is or are luego uh, de los artículos que veíamos también el viernes a an and zero article uno de los tres artículos y es a an 
o si no lleva artículo. El guión que aparece acá representa que no, no necesita artículo. Y usted circula, eh, elige la respuesta que, que considera como correcta. ¿Ok, Claudia? Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, okay Claudia, excelente. Uh -huh. Yes. Teacher, I, finish, Ajá. I yeah. finished the exercise, but I have a question. Yeah. Ah, adapt. If the pronunciation of key is keys, uh, what is to the plural? Keys. You understand? Yeah. Keys. Key? Como ves. No. Uh -huh. It sounds like that, actually. Yes. It sounds <laughs> exactly like that. Yes. Suena exactamente really? similar, sino que igual. Si no es que igual. So it sounds exactly the same. Suena prácticamente lo mismo. Yes, it does. So look in singular, it's key. Key. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to plural, it's going to be keys. 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 Key. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Yeah, it sounds like that. I told you. I mean, it sounds like that. <laughs> for real. Even though... um. Uh, that may kind of confuse you at some point if you don't distinguish that well by right, the sounds. So, but yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Key in singular, keys in plural. Yeah. Okay. In the point where we have to care is in there is or there are. Yeah. If in is there is. We are uh, we are um, talking about kiss, uh -huh. kiss the beso. Exactly. But there are kiss. We are talking about Javis. Uh huh. Correct. The instrument for unlocking a lock, right? Yes. The instrument mm -hmm. to look lock to lock. Yeah. Uh -huh. The lock. Uh, the lock. Open, open the locks para abrir los candados. Uh -huh. bah. Okay, okay, thank you. Excellent. Nice, Magdalena. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Let's just wait for the others. We finish up, then we check together. Finish, Carla Patricia. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, teacher. Nice, nice. Let's see. Iliana, hello. Good evening. Welcome, Iliana. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Hello, teacher. I am Hi. fine. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Mauricio, hello. Good evening, Mauricio. How are you? So nice to see you. Fine. Excellent. Very good. Okay, Mauricio, let me put you into context. Permítame que situarlo en contexto. So in this moment, we are completing this exercise. So I hope you watch the recording of the previous class. Espero haya podido visualizar el, 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 el recording de la clase anterior en la, en el, en la plataforma ¿verdad? De, de, de aprendizaje. Eh, pues trabajamos con esto. An, an. Eh, a, A y el zero article, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando decimos A, banana. An orange, right? Entonces, eso es lo que estamos haciendo en este momento. Seleccionar la respuesta que más convenga según el caso, ¿verdad? Según las ideas que tenemos acá. ¿Está mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Is Crisia connecting today? Do you know? No idea. Ah, okay. Thank you. 
Yes, I see that you have problems with the microphone. I hope you can fix them. No problem. Okay, students, are you ready for checking? Podemos proceder a revisar? Yes. Lizeth, Claudia, Ileana, Ivette, Mr. Jose Corea. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, students, ustedes me indican. Yo leo y ustedes me indican, okay? So, number one, there is or there are a an is on the table. Uh -huh. There are keys on the table. Okay. Yes, there, are, there are keys on the table. Ah, a key. ah sería, sería entonces there is a key. No, no, no. There no. are, there are, are keys a ah. on the table. Excellent. Nice. Ajá, muy bien. Excellent. There are keys on the table. Entonces sería zero article. Estoy en lo correcto. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Number two. There is or there are a, an red apple next to the book. There is a red apple. There is a red next apple. To the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you all have the same? Los demás tienen lo mismo. Yeah. There is a red apple next to the book. And red apple, Ileana. Okay. No, Just... a red apple. Ah, 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 red apple. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, ah, ah, red next to the Excellent. Red good apple. job. Uh -huh. Good job. Very good. Excellent. I like it. Number three, there is or there are a an blue backpack on the floor. There is a blue backpack, a blue backpack, backpack on, the on the floor. Exactly. There is a blue backpack on the floor. Yes, that is totally correct. Very good. Yes. There is a blue backpack on the floor. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, there is or there are uh, and 15 students in this class. There they are, are, there are, there are, are uh, 15 students uh, in this 15 class. students in this classroom. Okay, I just have a doubt. Solo tengo una pequeña duda, ¿verdad? A, an, or zero article? It's zero. Zero article. Zero article, okay. Okay, if you say so. Ustedes me indican de esa manera, okay. Zero article. And then we have, there is or there are a, an, some, Pencils between Pencil. um, some pencils between the desks. There, there are, are there are there are some pencils and some pencils between on the desk. Between the desk. Between the desk. Okay. There are some uh, pencils between uh, the desk. Excellent. There are some pencils between the desk. Good job. Excellent. Very, very good. Muy bien. Vamos muy bien trabajando con esto. Excellent. I like it. Yes. So, veamos las respuestas. Aquí están. Double check, please. Den una doble revisada en caso de que algo se nos haya escapado. Mm -hmm. Double check, please. Double, double check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how it should be. There is, no, there are keys on the table. There is a red apple next to the book. There is a blue backpack on the floor. There are 15 students in this classroom. There are some pencils between the desks, right? And that's how it goes. 
that's how you should place it, right? Yes. Questions about this? Do you have questions about these students? Yes, no? Questions, questions? I don't have questions. No. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Muy bien. Very, very good. Nice. So yeah, this is what we practiced right in the previous class, as you may, as you may remember. We practice right like the way we have to um, say the things based on the number and the consonant and vowel sounds, right? Like a, a book, a computer, let me see, a pencil, some pencils, an apple, right? That's how we practice it. Yes, very, very good. Thank you, students, for participating actively. And this is our topic for today. This is our very nice topic of today. Ese es nuestro tema principal para esta noche. Un poquito trabajoso, sí, más no imposible. So let me start by presenting to you prepositions of place. What are prepositions of place? The prepositions of place indicate the location where something is located. Las preposiciones de lugar las utilizamos para indicar un lugar en específico, en la localidad. ¿A dónde está posicionado un lugar? Right? ¿A dónde? ¿En qué parte? How, right? ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo? So, for example, we have in front of. En ese momento sí me gustaría que ustedes, eh, bueno, después les doy el espacio para que escriban y tengan todas sus dudas. Ya ahorita, más que todo que me guarda un eh, de su, presta atención para poder aclararles muy bien, ¿verdad? En caso de dudas, igual ustedes me indican. So, um, yes, so here we go. In front of, for example, the teacher, I'm going to stop like playing and I'm going to share this with you. The teacher, that's me, me, I am in front of you. I am in front, look in front of you. Because I can see you, I am in front of you. Right, for example, Carla is in front of me. Or Yvette is in front of me. Teacher, no, the computer is in front of you. That is correct. The computer is in front of me. I am in front of the computer. Is it clear, students? Clear? ¿Estamos claro? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Vean a su alrededor y díganme quién o qué está enfrente de ustedes. What is in front of you? Magdalena? Who or what my, is in front of you? Use my phone. My phone is in front of me. Okay, my phone is in front of me. What about you, Carla Patricia? What or who is in front of you? My phone is in front of me. Okay, in front of me, excellent. Reina, what is in front of you? My phone is in front of me. Excellent, very good. Eliana, who is in front of you? Quien está enfrente? My phone of the computer. Okay, the computer is in front of me. That is in front, right? That is in front. Then we have behind. Behind. The second one. Teacher, Vamos por el teacher. segundo. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo voy a responder? My in front of, y voy a decir la cosa. No, uh -huh. Ahí no entiendo, me perdí. My computer, por ejemplo. My, uh -huh. su objeto, uh -huh. Uh -huh. is in front of me. Is in front. It's in front. Y respondo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ok, gracias. Esa sería su respuesta. Ajá. Si yo le pregunto, mm -hmm. what is in front of you? ¿Qué hay enfrente de usted? Ah, my computer. My computer. Is, mm -hmm. is my in television. front. Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Got it, Ileana? Sí, sí, es claro. Ok, perfecto. Then we have students behind, behind, right? 
behind, right? For example, behind me, atrás de mí, hay una librera, right? Hay un shelf, hay un, uh, una repisa con libros. Behind me, there is a shelf with books. What is behind you? ¿Qué hay detrás de ustedes? What is behind you? The wall teacher, la pared teacher, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. But what else? Sí, pero ¿qué más? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is behind you? ¿Qué está atrás de ustedes? What? Ajá. Uh -huh. One hamaca okay. is behind me. Behind okay. me. A hammock. Ajá. A hammock. Una hamaca. A hammock. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Carla. How do you say impresor? A printer. Mm -hmm. In printer. printer behind to me. Behind me. Behind me. Behind me. Yes, for example, Magdaleno, ahí le coloco su ejemplo, me dice una maca, ¿verdad? Y Carla me dice que su impresora. Así va a ser su respuesta. A hammock is behind me. Una maca está atrás de mí. A printer is behind me. Ok. Somebody else, something else, alguien más, algo más. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay, What me. is behind you? José Corea. What is behind you? ¿Qué hay detrás de usted? A door is behind me. Excellent, Reina. Very good. In the chat, you're responding. Okay. A door is behind me. What else? Ajá. Uh -huh. The television is behind me. Excellent. The television is behind me. Is there a wall behind you? Hay una pared detrás de ustedes? Yes, no? No. No. Yes. Is there a person behind you? Hay una persona detrás de ustedes? Is there a person behind you? No. No? No? Okay. Between. Between, right? What is between? What is that? What is between? Well, let me show you. Medio. Sorry? In medio? Exactly. That is correct. Mm -hmm. For example, let me show you my, <laughs> my drawing skills. Let, let, let me show them to you right now. Okay. So let's see. We have this heart, for example. Aquí tenemos este heart. Y aquí tenemos este otro heart. Aquí hay dos corazones. Solo de manera ilustrativa. Right? And then we have a... Uh, well, here. We have a star. Tenemos una estrella. We have a star. Entonces, puedo decir... The star is between the two hearts. La estrella está, ajá, ¿cómo sería? En medio de los dos corazones. Exacto. En medio de los dos corazones. Correct. The star is behind, ajá, the two hearts, right? ¿Cómo sé eso? Porque aquí lo veo. Miren, ve. Behind, no. In front, no. It's between, right? Está en el medio. Aquí está, ve. I can see it. Y aquí está la estrella. It's between the two hearts. Okay, participants? Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Yeah, teacher. Okay. We're clear. Okay. Yes. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, we have more in here, right? Between, around. Around. What is around? Like you go around. Can you see my action? Around. Pueden ver mi acción? Alrededor. Exactly. 
uh -huh, around me. ¿Qué hay around me? Digamos, acá tengo unas flores, aquí tengo un libro, aquí tengo una taza de café. So that is around me. Right? That is around me. Está a mi alrededor. Around me. Beside. ¿Qué es beside? Beside is next to. It means next to. Algo que ustedes tienen a la par prácticamente. Right? Liliana, what is next to you? What is beside you? ¿Qué está a su lado? Liliana, ¿qué o quién está a su lado? Uh, a bell. Okay. Así respondo. A bell. O my bell. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. My bell. My bell. Ajá. Uh -huh. And my brother. My brother, okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Only, solamente. Okay. Yes, only that. Only that, solo eso. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice una bandera de la alianza? Okay, a flag, okay, a flag. A flag. A flag, una bandera o bandera. Ah, okay, a flag. A flag, okay. A flag. A flag. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. For example, Carla, is there a coffee dispenser next to you? Hay una cafetera, un costado, un lado suyo? Carla, is there a coffee no, teacher. dispenser? No. No. no? Okay. I have so, a. Uh -huh. I have uh, my bowl of water beside, beside me. Beside me. Okay. And the other. Uh, the, the font and phonometer. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I have a bottle of water beside me. A un costado mío. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Uh, into. What is into, students? Any idea? What is that? What is into? Can you tell me? Dentro. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. That is totally correct. Uh -huh. give, me, give me a second, please. Okay, I don't know if you can see. No sé si me pueden ver. Pueden ver mi pantalla completa. Do you see it? Yeah. Nope. Yes, I can see you. Los demás pueden ver mi pantalla completa. O sea, yo. No, only you. Ah, solo mí. Sí. Yep. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Pueden ver lo que tengo acá. Can you see it? Yes. Ajá. It's a box. It's a box, uh -huh, or a pencil, or a pencil. Okay. ¿Sí ¿Pueden ver el marker que tengo acá? Yep. Yes. ¿Sí? ¿Todos lo ven? Sí, sí, sí. Yes. yes. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué es into? Into. Ok. In. Teacher. In. Into or in. Ok. Is it clear? ¿Y cuál es la diferencia con inside? The same. Son tres formas, José. In, into, inside. Cualquiera de las tres formas. Ok. Ok. okay. Claro, José. Is it clear? Clear. Ok. No sé si en los demás estamos claros con la definición de into. Is it clear? Reina, Lisset, Yesenia, Claudia. Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yesenia, Claudia. Yes. Yes, Lisset. Okay. Into, right? I have something into. Into. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería lo opuesto? Yes, Miren. teacher. Ajá. Y si hago esto. Out of. Okay, out, the out, 
fuera, off, out of, right? In the box, out of the box. In, out, in, out, into, out of, into, out of, okay? Is it clear? Estamos claros? Teacher. Yes. Out of, uh, I can, I uh, do, I can write with doubly, the, with two of. Oh, no, 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 with two F. No. It's uh, only like with one. Just one, así como se los he puesto ahorita. Mm -hmm. Just one. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Is when one space between out and up. Exactly. Miren los ejemplos que les coloco en el chat en este momento. Mm -hmm. Visualicen esos ejemplos, please. Please, please, please. Ahí los tiene. Ajá. The pencil is into the case. El lápiz está adentro del estuche. The pencil is out of the case. Está fuera del estuche. Ok. Uh -huh. Is it clear? Estamos claros. No sé si los demás están claros, no me han dicho nada, no me han respondido si sí o no. Iliana, Elise, Claudia, no sé si estamos en sintonía y ve. Yes, teacher. Sí, teacher. Yes. Lo único que me cuesta es eso de cómo lo voy a, cómo lo voy a decir. Ok, muy mm -hmm. bien. Excelente, gracias. Entonces aquí está, ve, into. Out mm -hmm. of. Ok, Magdalena. Into, out of. Es lo opuesto. Vean los ejemplos que les he colocado en el chat. En el chat les he puesto mm -hmm. dos ejemplos bien claritos. Right? It's clear. Thank you, teacher. Ajá. The notebook, el cuaderno, is into. Yeah, exactly. Es los ejemplos. Ajá. ¿Los vio ya, Liana? Sí. sí. Más Eso era lo que claro, no entendía. ¿Cómo iba a responder? ¿Cómo okay. lo iba a conjugar, pues? Sí. Sí, por eso lo voy preguntando. Si me dicen solo, es todo lo que me tienen que indicar. Si vamos en la misma sintonía o no. Eh, para ajá, irle dando más y más ejemplos. A simplificarlo. Yes. Very good. Pero ustedes no tengan pena. Pregunten. Pregúntenme. Aquí estamos para ayudar. ¿Verdad? Entonces vamos con among. Among us. Es quizás uno de las, bueno, de, uh, among, right? Like, for example, the students are among the teacher. For example. That is just to give you an example, right? It's just, just to give you an example. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, like that, right? Many people are around you. La diferencia entre between y around es que between van a estar dos personas o dos objetos al lado suyo, uno a cada lado. Mientras que among quiere decir que un mayor número de personas o de objetos va a estar alrededor suyo cubriéndolo de todos los extremos. ¿Ok? En yes. español sería como apuñados o apuñados. No necesariamente, no, no. Rodeado. Es solo rodeado, es como around, uh -huh. es como around. Uh -huh. Around a few people o around a lot of people. Exactly, correct. Por ahí vamos. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ok. That is correct, yes. Uh -huh. That is totally, totally correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes. Questions about this? Alguna duda sobre la primera fila? Sí, no? Mm -hmm. No one question. Aha. Uh -huh. No yes. one question. No, no question? Yeah, no question. Okay. Very good. Perfect. 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 Across from, right? 
across from the street. For example, um, what tell you? The English corporativo is across from the street. Ustedes me ven y me preguntan, Teacher Kevin, ¿dónde queda inglés corporativo? Y les digo, ah, inglés corporativo is across from, from this street. Inglés corporativo está al cruzar esta calle. Across from this street. Ok. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Yes, y ve. Are we clear? ¿Estamos claros, si ve? No, no, teacher. Puedes repetir. Perfect. Muy bien. A sí. Across from is when you have to go into a straight position from one place to another. Cuando usted utiliza across from, se refiere a al cruzar la calle, por ejemplo. O al cruzar la avenida. Okay? Entonces, en este caso, usted me pregunta. Teacher, where is the café? ¿A dónde está la cafetería, teacher? Where is the cafeteria? Yo le digo, ah, aquí estamos, en esta esquina, eh, Ivette. Entonces yo le digo, the cafeteria is across the street. La cafetería está al cruzar la calle. Prácticamente la cafetería está enfrente de nosotros. Pero hay una calle que divide la cafetería de nosotros. Entonces nosotros tenemos que cruzar esa calle para llegar a la cafetería, across the street, al cruzar la calle. No sé si me di a entender, Ibe. Yes, teacher. Yes, Thank más you. claro. Yeah. Yes. Okay, across from the street, right? Mm -hmm. It's across Thank from you. the street. Excellent. Thanks to you. Very good. Thanks, thanks to you. Yes. Across from the street. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice. Eh, through, through, al pasar. Bueno, cuando ustedes manejan o, o han pasado, ¿verdad? no necesariamente tienen que manejar, pero han pasado, ya han pasado por uno de esos túneles de tránsito. Have you ever? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ajá, entonces ustedes pasan through the tunnel. Through the tunnel. A través de un túnel. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, right? Pasan through, a través de un túnel. Through the tunnel. Through. Right? Through. 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 Okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Through the tunnel. Next to, como bien lo dice aquí entre paréntesis, es lo mismo que beside, right? Next to. Right? Al lado de. Algo o alguien está a su lado. For example, eh, what? Claudia is next to Yesenia. Claudia está a la par de Yesenia. She is next to Yesenia, for example. Or the teacher Kevin is next to Magdaleno. Magdaleno is next to the teacher. Okay? Yes? Got it? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. As, al pasar. Eh, where is the Where is the hotel? ¿A dónde está el hotel? Ah. The hotel is next to the pharmacy. Está a la par de la farmacia. When you pass the pharmacy, you pass the hotel. Cuando pasan por la farmacia, pasan por el hotel. You pass right? Pass. Y across se refiere también al cruzarse, ¿verdad? Across from, va en la misma línea. Across from, like cross the street, right? Van across the street, cruzan una calle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y luego along, along, junto a. For example, um, what? Let me see. The dog walks alongside or along his owner. Aquí se lo voy a poner ese ejemplo en el chat. Uh -huh. The dog walks along the owner. 
el perro camina al lado de along the owner. Entonces, teacher, esto es como decir besides. ¿Sí? Viene siendo lo mismo prácticamente. Ahí se lo estoy poniendo en el chat ahorita. Ajá. The dog walks along the owner. The dog walks beside the owner. The dog walks next to the owner. Camina al lado de, a un costado de su dueño. The dog walks next to the owner. The dog walks beside the owner. The dog walks along the owner. ¿Se entiende? ¿Me explico? Yes, teacher. ¿Quedó en espera su respuesta? ¿Se entiende? ¿Me explico? Yes, yes I understand. Yes. Ok. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. ¿Dudas hasta el momento con respecto a esto? ¿Dudas? ¿Do you have doubts? I have not doubt. No. Doubt. Ok. I don't have doubt. Ok. Lizeth, doubts, questions about this, Lizeth? Solamente el de paz es el que tengo, como que no me quedó muy claro. Ok. Pass by the hospital. For example, if you go to the cinema, si va, or for example, if you go to the restaurant, pass by the pharmacy. Si va, o si se dirige hacia el restaurante, pase por la farmacia. Pass by the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Jose. Teacher. Ajá. Magdaleno. I have a doubt. Yeah. With past. And past is like pasado. Ajá. And if I say, if I, if I, if I tell you, is past without T, past with two S. Double S. The same. Uh -huh. Synonyms. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. And when I when I when I when I say uh, she is passing by the church, uh -huh. is correct? Yeah. Pass okay, by the thank church. You. Pass uh -huh. by the church or passing by the church? Exactly. Pass by the church. Pass by. Pass by the church. Yes. Okay. Teacher? Yes? What's What the it? meaning? Go straight. Go straight. Um, like, go straight ahead. Vaya ser recto. Go straight. Thank you. Yes. Ese es algo que vamos Teacher. viendo mañana. Ajá, ah. es más grande, sí. Ahorita vamos como que lo, por lo más sencillo. Ajá. Sí. Yes. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Yes, no. More questions, más dudas con respecto a yes, no. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Eh, es libre para usar beside o next to o hay alguna regla? Not, not a rule, no, because you can say, for example, Claudia is next to Yesenia. Yesenia is beside Claudia. Not a rule, not a difference. No, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thank okay. You. yeah, you use it. Like for example, uh, this example I was giving to you, along, right? Along, like you have somebody next to you, along you, right? Alguien que está a la par suya. Alguien que está a un costado suyo, cerca, muy cerca de usted, right? 
Next two. Yes. Son más que todo palabras para que ustedes incrementen su vocabulario. Para que incrementen su vocabulario. Que por si en algún momento ven, o sea, yo sé, ¿verdad? Ustedes en algún momento de su vida tienen que viajar y van a ver esas señales, van a decir, no, el teacher Kevin no me enseñó eso, no me dijo que así se podía decir también. Entonces, para prevenir eso, entonces por eso les digo yo, ¿verdad? Podemos usar beside, next to, o along. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, Beth. Uh -huh. Perfect. Clear? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. Muy bien. Estamos en sintonía, me parece. Elijan tres, por favor, por favor, de su elección. Tres de su elección y pues nada, elaboren tres ejemplos, ¿ok? Ok, ok. ¿Solo los ejemplos o, o sea, solo las respuestas o con las preguntas? Sin las preguntas, solo las muy oraciones. ¿eh? Ok. Ya, yeah, only the sentence. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. how many sentences do you do you tell? Three. Three. Elijan tres preposiciones. Eh. Y de esas tres preposiciones me van a escribir tres oraciones. No tres oraciones de cada una. No. Tres oraciones en total. Okay. ¿Me explico? <laughs> tres oraciones en qué dijo teacher? En total. Ah. Ajá. Yes. Magdaleno, no sé si me expliqué o lo dejé confundido. No, it's clear. Thank you. It's clear, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Very, very good. Nice, nice, nice. In the meantime, I'm going to call you by the attendance. Mientras tanto, I'm going to take the attendance. Los voy a llamar para su asistencia de este día. So, you just say present. Y ustedes me complementan, ¿verdad? Diciendo present. Let's see, let's start. <coughs> Claudia Lisset García Recinos. Claudia. Present. Thank you. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, let's see. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Present. Ok. Yesenia Elizabeth Arcamo. Present. Diana Margarita Campos. Mauricio Isaí Calder Isaú Calderón Esquivel. Mm -hmm. There you are. Mauricio, but you have problems right with the microphone. Uh, Crisia Vanessa Enriquez Monterrosa. Idalia, Iliana Idalia Serrano Martinez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Pineda Ventura. Present. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Oh, yeah, Angelica is, is sick, right? No, it's not sick. She has to work today on something. Uh, Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Lucia Gabriela Vázquez Benjiva. Raúl Oswaldo Ramírez Fabián. Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana Castillo. José Iván Portillo Márquez. Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura. Present teacher. Tomasa Ivette Ramírez Castillo. Present teacher. Verónica Yasmín Ramírez Ramírez. Ok, very good. Thank you.
when you finish, you let me know, please, right? So we check together. Once you finish, you let me know. Una vez finalicen, me dejan saber, please. Para yo poderles ayudar y revisar. Yeah, we check together. Teacher, tell me. Uh, yes. Um, when uh, um, what is the pronunciation to mention in past time? Mentioned. Mentioned. Mencionarme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mentioned is? you. Uh, quisiera saber cómo se dice. Um, La pronunciación para ponerlo en pasado. Mentioned. ¿Cómo mentioned. se pronunciaría? Mentioned. mentioned. Uh -huh. Ah, solo con una D al final. Exactly. Mentioned. Uh -huh. It's right if I say, you mentioned me. You mentioned me. Me mencionaste, yes. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Okay. I finished the exercise. Excellent, Magdaleno. Very mm -hmm. good. Excellent. Good job, good job. Muy bien. Solo esperamos a los demás que finalicen para revisar. Ok. Very good. Very, very good. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just wait for the others. Finish the check. Okay, very good. Can you give me your examples, Magdaleno? Let's start with you. Iniciamos con usted, Magdaleno. Your example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. I am in front of you. Okay. And number two. You mentioned me between. 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 That's right. Yeah. Between. Between Anna and Carla. Okay. Your uh, number three or third, uh, your house is across from this street. Okay. Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, uh -huh. Somebody else? Alguien más que desea compartir sus ejemplos? Someone else? Me. Okay, Lisset. Go ahead. Okay. My phone in front of me. Okay. A uh, pio is behind me. Behind. 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 Yes. Behind me. My work is across from the by park. Okay. Only. Any. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good, Lisa. Good job. Uh, somebody else? Is there someone else? Alguien más que desee compartir sus ejemplos? Someone else? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? Okay, Magdaleno, who do you want to listen? ¿A quién quiere escuchar, Magdaleno? Okay, oh, Claudia, okay, Claudia. Ajá. Claudia, ajá, Claudia. 
My song is beside of me. Behind me. Behind me. Yes. The dog is out of me. Of home. Perdón. Okay. The yes. dog is out of home. Okay, very good. Yes, that is totally correct. Um, another? One more. Is, the pizza is in front of the park. Okay, the teacher is in front of the park. Of the park. park. Of the class. The park. I get uh, in the chat, right around the chat, in the park, you mean? <laughs> no, I cannot listen to you. In front of the? Uh -huh. In front of the? In front of the? Yeah. Right, like type it on the chat. Ah, the park, yeah. I got it at the end, yeah, in front of the park. Excellent, very good, thank you. Ileana, your examples, Ileana? My mother is from of the kitchen. It's in front of the kitchen, okay. My brother live across from hospital. Across from the hospital, uh-huh. From the, from the hospital. Solo esas dos he hecho. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Siento you. Me está costando. Yeah, but we need more practice. I mean, it's the beginning. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, no sé si hay alguien más que quiera compartir una última participation. Someone else? Me. Okay, Carla. The computer is in front of me. Okay. The notebook is between computer and phone. Mold. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Carla. Excellent. Very good participants. Yes. So yeah, the ideas are very good. You have given to me nice, nice ideas. I like. It. So. Let's focalize this. Let's uh, concentrate on city places. Vamos a hacer un quick review, un review rapidito de los city places, ¿verdad? Los lugares que hay en la ciudad. For example, bank. Let's repeat. Aquí sí quiero que todos repitan, por favor, todos. Bank. Repeat it, please. Bank. 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 Flower shop. Uh -huh. Flower shop. Flower shop. Flower shop. Flower shop. Flower shop. Flower shop. Hospital. 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 Bookstore. 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 Music store. Music store. Music store. Music store. Music store. Toy store. Toy store. Toy store. Uh huh. Restaurant. 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 Supermarket. 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 Pet shop. Pet shop. Pet shop. Fast food restaurant. School school restaurant. Fast school restaurant. School. 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 Un bank es el lugar donde ustedes hacen todos esos procesos que involucran dinero, right? For example, you pay the bills, pagan sus facturas, right? Se los voy a colocar en el chat por si lo requieren. Uh -huh. uh, pay the bills, right? Pagan sus facturas. Ahí transfer money también en un bank. Ustedes transfieren dinero, 
transfer money. Uh -huh. Es todo eso, lo hacen ahí. Eh, next place, veamos el siguiente lugar, ¿cuál es? Flower shop. Uh -huh. Are there flower shops near your house? ¿Hay floresterías cerca de sus trabajos u hogares? Yes. No, yes. There, there, there is, no, there, there are, are no. ok, there hay aren't. floresterías, there are there, like flower shops, there hay are floresterías, not. no, Ajá. los jardines de sus vecinos no cuentan, ¿verdad? estamos hablando de lugares donde venden, comercializan plantas y flores, ok, yes, flower shops, right, yes, um, very good, then we have bookstore, Bookstore. Bookstore. ¿Hay bookstores en su ciudad? Yeah. Sí. Yes, no. Yes, there yes. are. Uh -huh. Do you know the meaning of bookstore? ¿Saben el significado de bookstore? What Librería. does that mean? Uh -huh. Yes, bookstore, right? Then we have a music store. Hay tiendas de música in your city are there? No. No, there no. aren't. No, they aren't. Hospitals? Do you have hospitals? Yes. Yes. Toy stores? Yes. Are they toy stores? Hay jugueterías? Por donde no. ustedes viven? Yeah. Uh, no, no yes. they are. Ah. No, they are. Okay. Supermarkets? Supermercados? Are there? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, very good. Yes. Pet shops. Hay tiendas para mascotas? No, there are. No? There aren't. No, there aren't. No, okay. they aren't. Restaurants? Hay restaurantes? Yes, they are. Y fast food yes, restaurants? Y restaurantes de comida rápida? Fast food restaurants? Yes, they are. Ok, en schools, high school. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Ok, very good. Perfect. Very, very good. Like it. So, you know, um, well, what I want like to focus on is this, right? I want to focus on this. Um, yes, let me see. Mm -hmm. There you are. Ok. So, como pueden ver ahorita, yo les voy a hacer una pequeña demostración. Hello. You can sing here a little bit, uh, a mini, mini, mini exercise, right? So, por ejemplo, the, the music store is in front of the bookstore. Veamos dónde está el music store, me indica. Aquí está, miren, pueden verlo. Yes, el music store. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y aquí está el bookstore. ¿A dónde está el bookstore? So, the music store is, is across. Puede ser across from across Rosa en Silva Avenue. Ajá. Aquí no puede ser una street, sino que aquí es una avenida, ¿verdad? Ah. Ajá. Across from Rosa en Silva Avenue. Pero también está, ¿cómo está? Front of. In front of, ¿verdad? Uno está enfrente del otro. It's in front of, ¿ok? ¿Claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Veamos el supermarket. ¿Dónde está el supermarket? The supermarket is... Between Ajá. the... Uh, no. No. It's next to you, bookstore. Next to... Ajá, excellent, yes. Very, very good. Uh -huh. Is next to the bookstore, right? Uh -huh. Yes, aquí está, ve? El, el supermarket is next to the bookstore. The bookstore is next to the supermarket, right? Aquí está. Sencillo, aquí está, ve? Uh -huh. Next to, está next to. Uh -huh. Yes. Y el hospital está... ¿A dónde está el hospital? In front. No. ¿Dónde está in front? No. In front it's, of the supermarket. It's. Behind. Uh -huh. 
Behind. behind. Ahí estamos. It's behind. Okay. Uh -huh. The supermarkets. Exactly. Uh -huh. Behind the supermarket. Uh -huh. El hospital está atrás del supermercado, right? It's not in front. No. It's not in front. Entonces, eso es lo que van a hacer. Dos ejemplos como este que les he escrito acá, por favor, en su cuaderno, rápido. Please, please, please. Two examples in your notebook. Uh -huh. Similar, similar, please. To this. Teacher. Yes, Magdalena. Uh, uh, acuérdeme, por favor, uh, para preguntar de cualquiera. Is one o como es? Is one es de cada uno, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo se dice de cualquiera? Of any. ¿Cómo? Whatever. 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 Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Ok. Whatever of the, any, of the, of the, any of the places. Them. Any of them. Any of them. Any of, le... any of them places. Sí, puede verlo acá, lo que le estoy escribiendo ahorita. Sí. Aquí en la presentación, arriba de la flecha roja. Ah, yo viéndolo en los chats. No, 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 no. Aquí Está arriba bien. de la flecha roja. ¿Lo ves? Ya lo encontré, ya lo encontré. Any, Any of, of them. them. Yeah. Eso es cualquiera de ellos. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Magdalena. Solo dos ejemplos, teacher. Two examples. ¿Sí? Finish. Finish. Ok, very good. The others finish, finish. Los demás finalizamos. Yes, no. Ajá. Uh -huh. Carla, Reina y Beth. Finish? Finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Finish. Very good. Very good. I finished too. Excellent. Good job. Good, good job. Excellent. Very, very good. So nice. Muy bien. Estamos en la misma sintonía todos. Me parece muy, muy bien. Perfect. So, eh, bien, en este momento los agrupo a todos en pequeñas salas de discusión. Ahí lo que quiero que hagan es que ustedes compartan sus ejemplos, ¿verdad? Entre ustedes mismos. Quiero darles ese poquito de autonomía, eh, que ustedes mismos puedan, pues, practicar, ¿verdad? El idioma, al final ese es el propósito, que ustedes practiquen y que puedan dar eh, sus ejemplos, ¿verdad? Como se supone que tienen que, que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Que discutan entre ustedes mismos, que compartan y de eso se trata, ¿ok? Yes. Yeah. 
Ready? Listos? Ajá, listos, listos. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Ahí está ya su invitación. Join, please. Únanse a su respectiva sala y comparten sus ejemplos. En uh, socialize your examples, please. Uh -huh. Ahí está muy bien. Excellent. Uh -huh. Claudia, Mauricio y Beth, José, ya tienen su sala asignada. Ingresen, por favor. Enter. Thank you. José en y Beth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beth, enter your room, please. Ingresa a su sala. Please, please. Este el segundo ejemplo que dio ejemplo que dio Magdalena. Y la que la que la lo copiaron, lo copiaron. El segundo, ¿no? El segundo. El primero sí te de avance is a crop from a on the on the no me importa para okay. Hola. Sí, le escuchamos. Hola, sí, sí. <laughs> the supermarket is across from the restaurant. Uh 
Hola. Poli, venga. Bueno, serían solo esos dos, solo dos ejemplos serían, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Me comparto esos ejemplos, ajá. Can I listen to them? Okay, me. The restaurant is from school. The bank. Um, Lisset, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, example number one, pet shop next to is hospital. Uh -huh. uh, example number two, mm -hmm. school is across Amelia Street. Oh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, street. Amelia Street, yeah. The street, okay. Okay, very good. Carla, Pineda, your example. The toy store is between music store and restaurant. Yeah. The fast food is behind to a school. Behind and the, the other school. is the bank is in front of flower shop. Of the flower shop. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. students so we continue checking together okay seguimos revisando todos juntos ah, muy bien vamos a revisar cada una de, la, de las ideas que tenemos a continuación verdad so we continue working with prepositions ya me van a conceder sus ejemplos ya se los voy a solicitar en un par de minutos solo vamos a trabajar en esa parte rapidito yes so it says uh, using three prepositions of place right In fact, I was supposed to give you only three. De hecho, solo se suponía que esas tres preposiciones les iba a compartir. Pero decidí compartirles más, ¿verdad? Compartir más con mis estudiantes. Entonces, por eso les compartí muchas más para que ustedes puedan aprender. ¿Ok? <ríe> Sorry because of that. Uh -huh. So, perdón, espero que no se vayan a molestar. Thank you. Teacher, malo, solo tres nos tenía que dar, no todos, todas esas, no. Teacher, I want more vocabula vocabulary every day. Vocabulary. <laughs> okay. Vocabulary. Very good. Yes. So here we are. Um, we have these three prepositions, right? Tenemos esas tres prepositions of place and we start with on, in, and at. Perdón, perdón, teacher, pero es que esto ya lo vimos la clase pasada. Mm, on, in, and at, sí lo vimos, pero como prepositions of time, como preposiciones de tiempo. ¿Se recuerdan? On Sunday, 
in the morning, at noon, at 7 a.m. ¿Se recuerdan, verdad? Do you remember? Yes. Yes, I remember it. Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, en esta ocasión la vamos a trabajar como prepositions of place. Preposiciones para indicar un lugar. Okay? So, let's see. On, in, at. On 4th Avenue. Right? On 4th Avenue. On the corner. On the corner. On the street. On the street. On 4th Avenue. On the corner. On the street. In. In El Salvador. In San Salvador. In the park. In the neighborhood. In. At the meeting room. At work. At the bank. Where is Magdaleno? Magdaleno is at the supermarket. Where is Carla Pineda? Carla is at the bank. Right? Where is Inglés Corporativo? Inglés Corporativo is in the fourth avenue. Right? Inglés Corporativo is in the fourth avenue. Where is the teacher? The teacher is on the corner. On the corner. Right? ¿Dónde está el teacher? ¿A dónde? ¿En dónde? He is on the corner. Está allá en la esquina. He is on the corner. Right? Where is the gas station? ¿A dónde está la gasolinería? Right? The gas station is on the street. Right? It's on the street. Where do you live? Where do you live? ¿En cuál lugar? ¿En qué país? Right? ¿En qué lugar? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. ¿Se recuerdan de eso, verdad? Las double each questions. When, where, why, who, who's. So, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Where do you work? I work for an industry. Trabajo para una industria. Or in the industry, right? Trabajo en la industria. I work in the industry, right? And that's how you say it, right? Y así es como ustedes lo pueden decir, lo pueden delimitar, right? Uh, where are you? In the neighborhood, in mi colonia o comunidad, right? In the neighborhood. Where are you? In the neighborhood. Questions about this? Preguntas sobre esto? Do you have questions, students? Yes? No? I don't have questions. No? The others, que hay de los demás, tienen dudas? Claudia, Liliana, Lucía, no, uh, Carla, Lizeth, no, Reina, questions, Jose Corea? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, please um, copy them. Les recomiendo que las copien y luego ustedes completan el ejercicio número 5 of your manual. Está en su manual el ejercicio número 5, ¿ok? De la página 40, page 40. Complete it, please. Completémoslo en estos momentos, please.
Did you finish? Carla, finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Teacher, I have, yeah. I have someone doubt with some, some doubts. I have some doubt. I uh -huh. have some doubt, doubt, doubt. I doubts, doubts, doubts. I have some doubts about the number four. The number word four. town. Mm -hmm. The word. Town. What is the translate to this word? City. City. It's a city. Yeah. Ah. Okay. And the number five. My relatives. Uh, what relatives. Is the relatives. Relatives. Your family. Your uncles. Your sisters. Your cousins. <laughs> grandfather grandmother so they are your relatives members that are part of your family mm -hmm. relatives relatives relatives, relatives. Mm -hmm. correct relatives that is correct mm -hmm. la seis creo que ya está contestada no number six no no Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow, <laughs> you are very observative, Jose. <laughs> Está dejando cascaritas. <laughs> How did you notice it? ¿Cómo se dio cuenta? Because of the preposition. Sí, esa misma iba a ser, entonces me quedaba at, at. <laughs> Ajá, entonces usted dijo no. No puede ser at, at. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ajá, es cierto. Nice. Un minuto más para los demás, ¿verdad? Que okay, no han terminado. Finish. Ok, solo esperamos. Ok, solo esperamos un minuto más. Uh, veo que los demás aún, algunos han terminado. Finish, Lizeth. Yes. Finish. Excellent. Yesenia, finish. Finish. Okay, Eliana, thank you. Okay. Finish. Okay. Let's check together. Let's see. I work in the bank that is. On. on the car on. on the first avenue and various street okay okay i work on. in the bank that is on the first avenue in various street yeah and various street yes Bar number, uh -huh. street. number two their factory is located in la libertad. In, in, in la libertad. In, in la libertad. Very good. Yes. Number three, we see you. At train room. A train room. A training room. Or. On. On the cafeteria. cafeteria. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes. Uh huh. We see you at training room or at the cafeteria. Number four. Anna works in at the company. The at the cafeteria. Uh huh. At. This is in. Uh huh. Anna works at. in the. Anna. <laughs> Anna works, Anna in, works the company. in the company that is at, 
at at town at no no it's in town in town in ohio in town ajá yes mm -hmm. pueden ver las lo que estoy lo que estoy escribiendo sí sí that's right okay Anna works in the company that is in town. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is in on 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 excellent on huh? on on huh? that is on on Roosevelt Street. Yes, very good. Tell him what we are. At. Uh -huh. at. at the meeting room. Okay. Exactly. Oh, Aquí ya está la respuesta. At. Right. Teacher, este, ¿cómo sabe? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo puede ver la respuesta usted? Teacher, how? Aquí está. Uh -huh. it? <laughs> ¿Estamos no. claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Questions? ¿Dudas? Yes, no. No. No, okay. Very good, right? Yes. Very, very good. Yes. Add in on, right? Excellent. Thank you, thank you very much. So let me show you um one of the final exams, exams, exercises that we had for today. Uno de los últimos ejercicios que tenemos para esta noche como practice es esto. El siguiente. Ustedes pueden ver este mapa que aparece acá, que les he dibujado. Aparece con bank, sport, palace, school, church. How do you say al alcaldía in English? ¿Cómo decimos alcaldía in English? City Hall. Ah. Repeat, City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Uh -huh. City Hall, right? Yes. City Hall. Uh -huh. Yes. So that is, right? Mm -hmm. That is here, right? Yes. Una City Hall is an alcaldía. Yes. Very, very good. Perfect. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me see. Um, book World Park. Mall, restaurant, and arrows company. Pregunta sobre este vocabulary. I have dealt with, with arrows. Arrows arouse is flecha. Yes. Uh -huh. uh. Sí, pero en este caso los arrows son como casa de las baterías, por ejemplo. Right? That is <laughs> like an example. Place where you can buy electrics, electronics. Lugar donde puede comprar uh, equipos electrónicos, objetos, dispositivos electrónicos. Okay. Magdalena. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That is it. very good. Okay. So, con base a este mapa, based on this map, con base a este mapa que les he presentado. Contestan las tres preguntas. You answer the three questions, please. Question number one, which street is the restaurant on? Question number two, which street is the city hall on? Question number three, which street is the park on? Please complete them. And then we check together.
Uh -huh. Finish. Uh -huh. Finish, finish, finalizamos. No yet. Not yet, okay. Yes. Yes, excellent. Okay, finish. Excellent. Good job. Good, good job. Very, very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, students, let's check together. Which street is the restaurant on? Roosevelt Street. Okay. Uh -huh. It is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, very good. Yes. No sé si les, les aparecen mis respuestas a ustedes. Do they appear? Yeah. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Number two, which street is the city hall on? The city hall is on Roosevelt Street. The Roosevelt second Street. avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes, avenue. yes. Uh huh. Yes. The city hall is on the second avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number three, which street is the park on? The park of is on various streets. Okay, on various streets. Very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's on various streets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, or you can also say, también lo pueden decir así, si lo vemos desde este punto. The park is between. Alguien que me lo lea, por favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between. The park is between the first park. and second avenue. Exactly. The park is between the first and the second avenue, right? Very, very good. Yes. The park is between the first and the second avenue, right? Very, very good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, uh, what you have to do right now, it's very, very simple. Ya para ir cerrando, ya como nuestra última actividad, así como están esas tres preguntas, ustedes crean una más y la responden utilizando este mapa. Okay? That's all. Mm -hmm. Yes. So close up, ya para ir eh, finalizando este segmento. This segment. Teacher, do you say yeah. one more? Yeah, one more. Finish. Finish. Okay, Carla.
Mm -hmm. The others finish, yes. Jose, Magdaleno, Lisette, finish, finish. Yes, I yes. finished just now. Okay, perfect. You just finished. Amazing. Very, very good. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so, well, students, uh, let's start socializing. Empiecen a compartir, por favor, sus um, pequeñas, pequeñas descriptions. Nos habíamos quedado con esa actividad pendiente, pero la vamos a terminar. Eh, sus pequeñas descriptions según lo que discutíamos en los breakout rooms, según lo que veíamos anteriormente. Con respecto a esta, Ajá. a ver quién me comparte primero. I need three, four volunteers. Ajá. Lo que trabajaron en sus salas de discusión, please. De three or four examples. Ajá. Me. Ok. The toy store is between music store and restaurant. Ok. Okay. The restaurant okay. is in fast food restaurant is behind to a school. It's behind the school. Uh -huh. yes. The bank is in front of flower shop. The bank is in front of the flower shop. Thank you, Carla Patricia. Very good. Yes, like that. Liliana? Mm -hmm. The restaurant is from on Ro Rosa and Silvia Avenue. Okay, it's in front of Rosa and Silva Avenue. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Yvette, can I have one example, Yvette? Mm. The bank is across from the bookstore. Bookstore, okay. Mm -hmm. um, the bookstore is Next to supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Yesenia, one example, please, Yesenia. The, the school behind Fox restaurant. Okay. Is behind. Uh -huh. Is behind. Is behind. The fast food. The fast food restaurant. restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Lisette del Carmen, one example. Okay, it's good. It's across Amelia Street. Across Amelia Street, yes, very good. Jose Corea. Yes, Jose, your example. No. Mm -hmm. Jose. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> the pet shop is behind the hospital. Okay. The pet shop is behind the hospital. Nice example. Very good example, muy buen ejemplo. Thank you, Jose. Yes, y finalizamos esta actividad with, let me see. Claudia or Magdaleno, I don't know who wants to share. Yeah, of course. Okay. The bookstore is between the music store and the supermarket. Okay, between the music store and the supermarket. Yes, uh -huh. very, very good. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, students, so yes, as you can see, this was really, really easy at some point, right? Uh, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's going to be very difficult if you don't pay attention, right, to the the details like the preposition where should you place it right like for example the park is in front of the restaurant the school is next to the supermarket 
uh, the music store is next to, I don't know, the music store is next to the pharmacy, so that, right? Yes, my recommendation is keep practicing this expression, right? Keep practicing them as much as possible. Bien. Y pues nada, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué les comento? Eh, tengo un par de anuncios que compartir con ustedes, ¿verdad? En estos cuatro minutos que me quedan. So, just to let you know, right? Para compartir con ustedes. Primero, eh, el día miércoles de esta semana, ustedes van a recibir en sus correos y en su WhatsApp personal una encuesta. ¿Ok? Van a recibir una encuesta. Entonces, quiero que me presten mucha, mucha atención y guarden mucho, mucho cuidado con esto porque es de suma, suma importancia. Esa encuesta que ustedes reciban el día miércoles, no, escúchame bien, no la contesten, no la resuelvan. Esa encuesta la van a recibir este día miércoles, el miércoles de esa semana, pero no la contesten, no la resuelvan hasta el día viernes en clase conmigo. El día viernes finalizamos módulo, el día viernes realizamos nuestro examen final, entonces ese día durante la clase yo les voy a decir, ¿Recuerdan que recibieron una encuesta el miércoles? Sí, vaya, perfecto. Entonces, esa encuesta la vamos a resolver en estos momentos porque aquí está cómo la van a resolver y aquí está lo que ustedes le van a colocar. Entonces, ustedes la van a recibir el día miércoles. Sí, pero ahí tengan la guardadita. No la contesten, no la toquen porque la vamos a resolver hasta el día viernes. ¿Me explico? Yes, teacher. Sí. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Pues yo para el día de yes, este viernes, bueno, sí, tengo tres deseos finales para este módulo, son tres cosas. El primero, que ya para el día jueves ya hayan concluido, ya hayan finalizado sus cinco tareas de la semana, incluyendo la del viernes. Por eso me he adelantado un poquito con los temas, con, bueno, con este tema en especial. Para que ustedes ya el día jueves ya pueden haber terminado sus cuatro o cinco tareas de la semana. ¿Ok? Entonces, para eso, porque ya ese día, el viernes en la noche, igual, ¿verdad? Nosotros entregamos reporte de nota viernes en la noche, imagínense. Entonces, necesitamos que ustedes, yo sé que ustedes pueden, ¿verdad? Yo sé que no me van a dejar defraudado, me van a apoyar con eso. Entonces, de completar sus tareas a tiempo. Y pues eso. Y el viernes, ¿verdad? Es necesario, es muy, muy necesario que ustedes estén todos y que pues estén con su cámara para poder resolver su, su, su encuesta siendo constante que está, ha estado presente ¿verdad? en las clases de, de este módulo, en cada una de las 20 sesiones que hemos tenido en este módulo. Entonces, pues eso, no les pido. Esas son mis peticiones para ustedes y espero que me puedan colaborar y me puedan cumplir con eso el día viernes. Hagan los ajustes necesarios para poder estar presente en tiempo, ¿verdad? Que ya es ya la última jornada, ya el viernes, ya. Y ahí ese día finalizamos el módulo. ¿okay? ¿Estamos claros? Estimados estudiantes. Yes, clear? teacher. It's clear. Ok, perfecto. Yes, ¿Cuento con su cumplimiento de las tareas ya para el jueves? ¿De esta semana? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Excelente. Yes. ¿Cumplo con que no van a tocar la encuesta todavía? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Todavía no, ¿verdad? Excelente. Todavía no la van a tocar la encuesta. Muy bien, pues. Si ese es el caso, yo llego esta noche y duermo tranquilo, feliz, porque sé que van a seguir las instrucciones que les he proporcionado, ¿verdad? Claro, es una instrucción para el bien de ustedes también. Entonces, para el bien, un bien colectivo. ¿okay? Teacher. Yes. Carla. Yo tengo como una sugerencia ¿Sí? que lo debería de poner en el grupo por los que no ¿También? se han conectado ahora. Sí, claro. De hecho, ya elaboré una imagen. <ríe> ya, ya creé una imagen <ríe> okay. para ponerla ahí también, sí. Sí. 
Uh -huh. That's great. Sí. Está bien. Y se recuerdan que hay shared a file with you. Se recuerdan que había compartido una carpeta con ustedes, ¿verdad? Un drive. ¿Se recuerdan? Yes. Uh, sí. Yes. Ahí les voy a colocar más. Ok, más info, material, para que ustedes consoliden este conocimiento y todo lo demás que hemos estado viendo estos días, ok? Ok, perfect. thank you, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Entonces, no olviden realizar su tarea, please. Llevar las tareas al día. Ya para el día viernes que yo revise en la mañana, yo diga, ¡Eh! ya cumplieron con todas las tareas. Súper, excelente, ok? So, eso es lo que yo necesito. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And I see you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. bye. Rest. And relax and do your homework. Bye bye. Take care. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you. Okay. So. We were supposed to have Crisia today, but Crisia is not here. She did not connect to the video conference number 16 today. Still, we're going to take this time to practice a little bit more what we studied in today's class, right? Related to the prepositions. So we use on, in, and at, as we saw before, the three essential prepositions, right? To describe where a place is located, the location of a place in simple words. For example, where is the supermarket, All right? The supermarket is on the second avenue. Where is the park? The park is in the corner of the first avenue and Roosevelt Street, right? Where is the teacher? The teacher is at the supermarket. So I indicate a location, not just of a place, but also the location of a person, right? In this case, I ask you, where is the teacher? And the response is, okay, the teacher is at the supermarket or at the cafe, at the bakery. So I indicate, I tell you the location of the place, right? That is something essential, something that we need to focus on a lot, right? The school, um, the school is in the uh, various street, just to give an example, right? We also have other prepositions that are a little bit longer than on, at, and in, right? We are talking about, in this case, we're talking about uh, in front of, behind, between, next to, across from, for example, the school is in front of the church. Just to give you an example, the city hall is in front of the park. The book world is, the, is next to the arrows company, right? The restaurant is in the corner of the first avenue and the Roosevelt Street, to give you an example, to give you a better idea. Right? Where is the palace, the sports palace? The sports palace is across from various street in front of the park, right? So we can give a small descriptions of the prepositions, well, the location of different places, just by indicating or just by telling, right? Where a location or where something is right specifically, right? Uh, well, the church is next to the city hall. What is the church? The church is next to the city hall. The city hall is next to the church, right? And those are perhaps some of the most common examples that we can have. In this moment, I am going to give you like one minute for you to write down an example and then we check together. So use this minute for you to write down an example, please. Go ahead.
Okay, so yes, we finished the minute. The minute it's over. Yes, yeah, so let's see these three questions that we already practiced, but they are still like um, related to this, right? Related to giving many, many descriptions of what people oh, were, like, let's say in this case, the way people indicate the location of a place. For example, which street is the restaurant on? We can say um, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Which street is the city hall on? Well, I can perfectly tell you the city hall is on the second avenue. Which street is the park on? The park, it's between the first and the second avenue, right? So that's how I provide better ideas, better examples of the location of places, right? And yeah, I like this example because you can see here, we can see the application of all of this, right? Uh, the prepositions of place, like into, across, from, past, along, out of, into, among, through, next to. Like my house is next to the school. The school is in front of the church. The church is behind the park and you can have that Mm, let's say relation, right? That it's going one after another and then another and more, right? So that's how you provide the meaningful information for this. Uh, across from, like in my house is across from the Magdalena Avenue, for example, just to give an, an idea, right? Uh, I am in the house, I am out of the house. Those were two prepositions that we actually use and practiced with in today's class, right? Into and out of, like, I am out of the house. I am into the house, right? To give you an example. So one more minute for you to write down one more example and then we check it together. Go ahead. Okay, one more minute is over. So yes, this is practically what we did in today's class related to the uses of the prepositions of place, right? The way we indicate uh, how a preposition is used to indicate the location of a place. And that is like in general, right? Like the general view of what we did in today's class. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, so don't forget to do your homework please, that is indispensable, that is necessary, so you can have extra practice based on what we did today, and please don't forget, right, like, um, to do your homework as a matter of practice, right, so thanks for joining, and God willing, I see you um, tomorrow, yeah, we see each other tomorrow for more practice and more uh, knowledge, to share related to this, right? So yeah, thank you very much and bye-bye.